This is Gerald the Hero, and this is my must-watch anime for the Falls 2017 season. The first one I'm going to talk about is Inishiki, a 50-year-old man based on his looks, is ignored by the world around him and disrespected by his family despite the fact that he has supported them. He also finds out that he has cancer, so he has very little time in this world. He sees a blinding light in the sky, so I'm guessing he got abducted by aliens and received powers to become a hero and that there might be another person with this power that he has to go against in the future. Now, visually, this really looked great. Uh, it's from the same people that made Gone Zero, so visually it looks really good. We'll have to see if the story matches up to this. The next show that I'm going to watch is Dai's Ari. A group of Nazi soldiers do a sacrifice ritual to bring 13 lances back that are supermen that could destroy the world. No one knows if this has succeeded or not. Ren and Shuru have a fight where they almost kill each other, and Ren, since then, has had nightmares of being executed at the guillotine, and murderers and masked men hunting these murderers. In this town, it's known that eventually everyone loses their minds. So we'll have to see if this is actually reality, is actually happening, or if we find out that this guy is crazy and this is all, just all happening in his mind. The next show that I'm going to watch is Black Clover. Two friends want to become a sorcerer king. One, Asta, can't use magic while his friend, Yino, is an expert at magic. When they receive their grimoire, a special book of magic, Yino gets a special book that is four-leaf clover, which is rare, while Asta gets even a more rare grimoire called a five-leaf clover called a Black Clover, which allows him to do anti-magic. From what I've heard, the two main characters will be super overpowered, and I've heard mixed things about it, people that have read the manga, that some people think this is a fun series, while others think that it gets old, that the main character, Asta, gets everything very easily. The next show I'm going to be watching is The Ancient Magus Bride. If the quality of the series is anything like the OVAs, this could be anime of the season. A girl is brought by a sorcerer, and is told that she will become an apprentice, but also become his bride. If the visuals match up from the OVA, it's very detailed. Even the littlest thing is looks really beautiful, and especially the animation of individual things. Like in the OVA, there was a bird that carries books to bring to the, the Magus, and just the detail of that transformation was very detailed. Also, the little story that we got in the OVA, if it's anything like how the main story will be, then I think everybody's going to be interested, you know, week from week, wanting to see what happens next. So I'm looking really forward to seeing this one. I'm also watching Food Wars Season 3. I'm looking forward to this one. After the internship uh, that some and the rest of the students, it looks like they will have to face the Totsuki Elite 10 Council. We'll have to see if the pacing will be super quick like it was in the last season or not. Another show that I'm going to be watching is Juni Tyson. This show looks pretty straightforward. A battle royale between people that represent the Chinese zodiac symbols. So this will probably be all action. Hopefully we will figure out why this is happening and who the mysterious man at the end of this preview. Like if he's a judge for this match or be some kind of you know evil villain that's instigated these fights the visuals for each character kind of varied like some people looked really plain while other ones really looked very detailed and interesting so we'll have to see what happens and you know whether this is really paced fast or if it's just going to be kind of generic we'll have to see the other show that i want to see is three gatsu no lion season two the first season was really great. A lot of character development. I'm really hoping Kiriyami will get to progress further in rank in his chess matches, but also I hope he gets to tell off, for instance, his sister that acts like he ruined her life, but it's more like her father did that by treating Ray better than his own children. Um, another series I'm looking forward to is Osama Game, the animation. It looks like another death game show like Dankaropa. The main character is a transfer student at a school where this game happened before. The rest of the students at first don't believe these emails that explain how the game will work. So I'm guessing a lot of people will probably die just because they don't believe this is true. It'll be interesting to see how this stacks up with other shows like this one. Another show that I'm interested in is uh, a romance show called Just Because. 
This show looks pretty good visually. It's interesting that for the rest of the students, this is their last year in high school and that they are focused on this and maybe are getting depressed about leaving friends, figuring out what to do as far as going to college. But this transfer student will change this a little. So it'll be interesting to see how the two main characters get together. Uh, another show that I'm interested in seeing is Kino no Tabi, A Beautiful World. It's a Kino's Journey remake. I've never seen the original show, but it'll be interesting to see how this reboot remake of the show, of this original show, will be, and if it'll catch people's interest. Uh, another show that I'm watching is Shoujo Shimatsu Roku. Two girls living in a post-apocalyptic world. Um, so this show is made by White Fox, the same producers as ReZero. But this looks like the show will be kind of a slice of life, but will involve lots of feels. And may have lots of depressing scenes, but it looks like it could be very interesting. Another show that I'm interested in watching is Netju no Shushumi. A 30-year-old neat... Moroku plays an online game as a male character in the, as a beginner and is helped by a female character. In the real world, Moriko meets a mysterious blonde, blue-eyed, handsome elite company employee. So I'm guessing that t- these two are playing the same game and that is how they will get to know each other. So that aspect could be interesting. And then another show that I'm kind of interested because it might be a funny series is Boku no Kanjo ga Majisur. Shoujo bitch na ken, or my girlfriend is a show bitch. Haraku confesses to a class rep Akio, who seems to be a nice, beautiful person, but what she says and what she does are things that Haraku does not expect. So this could end up being a really funny show. Kind of looks like a harem, so hopefully this won't become a very generic show. We'll have to see. But. These are all the shows that I'm going to check out at least a few episodes. I'm not really sure at this time which ones I'm going to review. There's a lot of shows that are sequels that I just I'm not caught up with and I'm not going to try to rush and see if I can get to the second season. I'm also curious to see what shows you guys are going to watch and if there's any shows that I'm not watching that you are looking forward to seeing. So like always, comment below, subscribe and follow me on Twitter and I will see you next time.